smart.
So this blind is going to be almost exclusively a rifle blind, but I wanted it to have the capability to shoot a compound bow out of here. Um, you could shoot a crossbow out of here easily, um, but I don't hunt with crossbow. I hunt with a compound and you know if I get a super cold day in late season where it's just blowing wind and I want to hunt a food plot or something like that, this would be perfect. Or if it's pouring rain um, and I want to sit out in the woods somewhere, I can hop in this and I could do an all day sit and it won't bother me a bit. So that's the idea behind this archery door on the front. It was kind of an afterthought, but I think it's a really good addition. He's down. So anyway, it works for uh, rifle very, very well. that's it um that was a fun build i really like doing stuff like that things i would do differently uh or might still do i might still add some fenders i haven't decided yet um does it really need it if you're just going around here no if you're going down the road with it it should have them yes um maybe on the next one i'll do a peaked roof instead of a shed roof um i just think that would keep the overall height a little bit lower. Um, as you could see, I, I went down through that trail no problem, but I keep my trails pretty clean. If you wanted to go through a really tight trail, um, obviously height is gonna be um, an issue. Benches, I might do benches. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do permanent benches that like fold up and down, or if I should do some stools or something with a swivel and an adjustable height maybe to them. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards the stool option the only thing i don't like about the stools is um you're gonna have to figure out a way to strap them down which really isn't a big deal throw a bungee in there or something and um you know fasten them to the wall when you're when you're getting ready to move it but uh that's maybe the only drawback um benches i feel like if you don't get the height just right um you might have a you know a taller guy in there or a shorter guy in there the windows aren't really bit that big so that might become an issue. And the other thing is um, if you are if you got a stool on the back side and you're looking out this side window uh, more so than the front window, you're probably gonna get a stiff neck. Whereas if you had like a swivel seat, you can just turn your whole body. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Um, let's do a quick walk around. That's key. I might do a little bit of a, like a gun rack or something so you can lean your gun against the side here. Um, let me 
open these get a little bit more light in here got some s hooks and a piece of chain there that the windows hang from um, real nice view on 270 degrees here and then if you did want a back window and it wasn't super cold out i guess you could open this door generally you're going to have this backed up against brush like this i know which way the deer come um, when i'm hunting this field they come from this direction so um, and then they move on out back past me here when it gets uh, dark so um, if I was going to shoot it'd be out in front of me here or off to this side as they're moving on to the next field of the night so um, you know you just want to plan ahead this archery door let the camera focus or the light get so I got a handle here, you just pull that handle tight and then you pull those pins out. I can't do it one handed, I don't think, but let me try. Kind of hold you guys with my legs here. And just like that. And then these open up. You can have one open, you can have both open. Probably really only need one open to shoot out of, like so. And then you could keep the other clothes just to conceal a little bit better but you could if you needed a shot that way you can open that one and get a better shot that way so kind of how that works as you saw me shoot just a minute ago and then of course two more windows on this side and then i added some foam here just to keep the draft out and this would stay very very warm with just a buddy heater Still need to add the foam on these two windows I ran out. Um, probably should add a step here just because when this is off the ground, you're gonna wanna step on this and that's gonna be a bad day. Um, what you need to do is step on the frame and then down, but if you've been sitting in there quite a long time and you're not thinking when you get out or you're excited you just shot a deer, you might have a tendency to step on that tire and end up on your butt. So I might do a step there, we'll see. And I want to do some sort of um, sound deadening on the floor, whether it's insulation underneath or um, like a foam board underneath or possibly like a carpet that's not going to get nasty. So. so anyway, pretty good uh, project. Started off as a pallet, like I said, and uh, Used uh, some steel tubing that I had laying around the garage forever and didn't know what I was going to do with. Some tractor um, hubs for the axle. And uh, there we go, there's the finished project. So overall, I probably have less than $200, $250 maybe into the whole thing. And uh, these things go for a couple grand on Marketplace um, that look a lot rougher than the one I built. So turnbuckle's held up really good. I've had this thing up the trails and off camber to get it up here and this thing didn't move at all so um, they should they should work pretty good for what we're doing. Um, the only other thing I was going to ask you guys, do uh, you think I should paint it or just let the wood get some natural um, patina on it from uh, the sun and the, and the rain and all that, the weather? Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'd do something like a camo if I did paint it stain it um but uh i'm almost leaning towards just letting it weather naturally right now so got it sitting up here might do a little bit of coyote hunting out of it and i want to see if the deer will get used to it and then i can just kind of watch them from over there or i can hop in it one night in a month or so and see if they come through like they normally do um so hope you guys enjoyed this build as, as much as i did and uh really appreciate you guys uh supporting the channel um hit the like and subscribe button if you don't mind and uh We'll catch you guys on the next one.